R. Kelly has been a public figure for over 30 years. And during those 30 years, since he's been famous, no man has ever come forward to say that R. Kelly was his gay lover. No man has come forward to say that R. Kelly molested him when he was a boy. No man came forward to say they had any type of sexual contact with R. Kelly. Even during his 2008 trial, that would have been the perfect opportunity for any man to come forward or boy and say that they were taken advantage of, but none of that happened until recently. Two weeks before trial, last week, when the federal government pulled two John Holes, and yes, I said John Holes, they pulled two John Holes out of the clear blue sky and said these men were involved with R. Kelly sexually and that sexual contact continued after they became adults and R. Kelly forced them to have sex with his girlfriends and he often taped the encounters. And um, while I was reading the motions, I noticed that the government, the feds, never asked for those videos to be shown in court, those so-called videos. They asked for audio of him yelling and screaming at two of the hoes in the house, but they didn't ask for video of the young men to be shown in court. And um, that's why I know the videos don't exist. Because if the federal government had a tape of R. Kelly having sex with an underage boy, best believe they would postpone this trial and charge him with having sex with an underage boy. And they would add that tape in as part of the evidence, but they have not asked for these so-called tapes of these so-called men to be added into evidence. Why is that? Because they don't exist, y'all. They don't exist. They're framing R. Kelly. They're framing him. And we know they're framing him because Richard Arline Jr., as we all found out earlier this week, is John Ho, number one. He's a ho ass nigga. And the feds came to him and they told him like this to say, look, you're looking at 15 years for bribing Azriel. If you want to get out of this shit, you're going to come and say that you had sex with R. Kelly in exchange for a lighter sentence. Or you may not do any jail time at all, but you got to play ball with us. So he is John Doe number one. And I know Tasha Kay said that he told her he couldn't talk about it. She apparently had contact with him, according to her. She contacted him after she saw a post online about him being John Ho, number one. And he said his lawyer told him not to talk and, you know, but he's not John Ho, but he don't want to come out and say he's not John Ho, number one. If you're not John Ho, number one, just put a post up saying you're not John Ho, number one. But he didn't do that. You know what he did? He took down his Facebook. He lied to Tasha Kay. He is John Ho number one. And he is just um, trying to cover his ass now because he knows the fans are on to him. And they know, and that we know that they are setting him up with these fake molesting boy ap ap uh, accusations. They're setting R. Kelly up with these fake ass, oh my God, he molested boys allegations. The federal government is playing a dirty game. 
They're playing a dirty, dirty game. I've never seen anything like it in my entire fucking life. How do they get away with this? How do they fucking get away with it? I swear to God, I want all these people to drop. I want all these people to go in the ground. I, I really do. I don't like what they're doing to R. Kelly. You know, the way they are doing this man is is terrible. And I'm glad I'm not a a a, a sheep like everybody else. I've always been a critical thinker. And I read between the lines. I've read these motions uh, over and over again because, you know, normally when you read it the first time, you're kind of skimming through. And then I read it again and I read it again and I read it again to, you know, make sure I didn't miss anything. And the government is not asking for any videos of R. Kelly with any man to be shown in court because... It didn't happen, you guys. They're lying. They're fucking lying. And I watched Tasha Kay's um, show. She went live tonight. And I saw what she had to say. And as usual, you know, she had some, you know, nasty remarks about R. Kelly that I didn't like. You know, talked about him, you know, uh, having gay sex in jail and try to make a joke about that. You know, I mean, it's just disgusting the way they talk about him. You know, Tasha Kay, you know, always has to hit below the belt. And she's not for R. Kelly, and she's never claimed to be for R. Kelly. And um, I watched her after show, and um, she had DJ Tyson on the after show. And, you know, um, she was going back and forth with DJ Tyson, and DJ Tyson asked her a great question. Where is the energy for Angelo? Where's the energy for Angelo, you know? And she said that she's going to um, wait and see how the trial goes before she drags Angelo and Azriel and brings her receipts. And then um, DJ Tyson said, well, why didn't you wait until after the trial and to, to talk about R. Kelly and give him the same courtesy? You know, and she said, well, that's a news story, and she's, you know, she's speaking about it you know, in real time. Um, but DJ Tyson made some good points, you know. Um, but Tasha Kay has never been for R. Kelly. You know, she's never been for R. Kelly. And um, I don't think she will expose uh, Angelo um, or Azriel or any of these accusers because um, she really wants R. Kelly to fry, you know. She wants him to fry. And probably, the, you know, the federal government probably contacted her and said um, they don't want her to put out um, anything that would exonerate R. Kelly because she was the one sending stuff into Homeland Security. Remember she said that um, like a year and a half ago that she sent a lot of shit into Homeland Security and the feds. So um, a lot of the information that Tasha K sent in uh, was used uh, in these motions. If you read the motions, you can see how a lot of the information they got it from Tasha K and surviving R. Kelly. So it's a lot of hearsay that the feds have. And on top of that, they, they um, are dealing with some hoes, you know, um, they're dealing with some prostitutes that are unreliable and they don't have a case. So that's why they have to ask, you know, the judge to allow 20 extra people to testify. And we're still waiting to see what she's going to do about that. You know, um, if she allows it in, then I think that it would be overly prejudicial. And I think that, you know, it would be an uphill battle. It would be an uphill battle, but it's not lost, you guys. I believe that if R. Kelly has a fair jury, like I've always said, he will be acquitted because he deserves to be acquitted. 
he deserves to be acquitted and honestly we don't even have to wait on Tasha K to expose um, Angelo and Azriel and all these people because they've been exposed by the fans and uh, especially truth media and malicious conspiracy uh, with the amazing videos that they have been putting out you know breaking everything down you know, and um, it's been so amazing. Whoever does those pages is doing an excellent job of really, you know, keeping their foot on these lying, nasty, stank bitches' necks. And uh, so I'm grateful for them. I'm really grateful for Malicious Conspiracy and Truth Media. I just want this to be over for R. Kelly. He does not deserve this. He does not deserve this public dragging that he has gotten. R. Kelly never had gay accusations his entire career. Now all of a sudden, two weeks before trial, he was at McDonald's trying to pick up young boys. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? No, it does not. If R. Kelly were gay or if he were down low, I don't think he would pick somebody who would run and tell on him. He would pick like a, a A-list, another A-list celebrity who would keep the secret and, you know, who wouldn't expose him. Cause he has a lot to lose and so does um, other celebrities. So I don't, I don't see R. Kelly just going and picking up boys. That's how I um, know it's not true. You know, but like I said before, if I found out R. Kelly was bisexual, it wouldn't bother me. I still love him. The first trial didn't stop me from being a fan. So no rumor is going to stop me from being a fan. I genuinely love R. Kelly. R. Kelly is my favorite artist of all time. And um, a true genius, a true genius. And it's sad how black people and the black community lined up to help Massa lynch him. But these whores are going to get exactly what they deserve, you know. And Judge Ann Donnelly denied the media's motion today to be in the courtroom. She says she's not going to do it. She says COVID restrictions, it's going to be too many people in the courtroom. If she allows um, the media in, they can be in the overflow courtrooms. And I'm glad, you know, because the media is one-sided anyway. You know, they were, do, they were going to do nothing but bash him anyway. When I read their motion and they say they want to um, be there to protect black girls, I already knew they were going to be there to write bad articles and exaggerate and not report the facts. So we don't need the media in the courtroom breathing down R. Kelly's neck. I'm glad Judge Ann Donnelly denied him. That's one thing I agree with the judge about. But I knew she didn't deny him uh, to protect R. Kelly. She denied the media because Azriel and these other hoes do not want to testify. And so she wants to say, okay, well, it's no media. It's, it's no media in the courtroom. So you have no excuse as to why you can't testify. But we'll see if these bitches show up. Because I don't think it's going to go like the feds think. I don't think some of these people are going to show up. Because if Azria gets on the stand and tells her lies and gets cross-examined, she might end up doing some time. I don't care if they give her a fake name or not. We're still going to know who she is. Because she has spoken publicly about R. Kelly. She couldn't keep her mouth shut. Once she left R. Kelly, she couldn't stop going live and bashing him and tearing up the Versace coat and, you know, calling him gay and all of that. And all of that nonsense. And, and the, the way the, the feds got that gay rumor from Geronda Pace. Remember, Geronda Pace wrote that in her book, and that's what they ran with because um, it was Tim Savage who told Geronda Pace to say that R. Kelly was gay in the book. When I tell you these people are disgusting, 
That's why I have no sympathy for Tim Savage. I hope he goes where Greg Landfair is. I want all these people to croak. And I'm sorry I don't wish death on anybody, you know, but I hate these people with a passion for everything they've fucking done. I could never treat somebody like this. I could never, you know, have sex willingly with a man and then just because it didn't go my way, decide, oh my God, I'm going to come out here and ruin the man's life because the relationship didn't go my fucking way and I didn't get what I wanted. I'm going to say I was raped and I was kidnapped and I'm going to turn federal informant. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. And like Deboski said on his channel the other day, Azriel went overboard to insert herself in this shit. And she did. She did. She downloaded gay porn on, on, on the devices and tried to say, oh, it was R. Kelly telling her to download the porn. No gay porn has ever been found on R. Kelly. But all of a sudden, a month before he was arrested by the feds, he downloaded gay porn or he told somebody to download gay porn and go look for child porn, but she ended up getting adult legal gay porn? Uh-uh. This is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. God bless R. Kelly, man. He doesn't deserve this shit. I feel bad for him. I remember when I saw him live. That was such a great time. I've seen R. Kelly live twice. I spent a lot of money on R. Kelly. More than any other entertainer. I spent a lot of money on R. Kelly. Like I said, he's my favorite artist. I just wish he had good, solid people around him. I wish he had good, solid people around him. I wish he picked a better wife instead of Drea. Drea never loved him. Drea never gave a damn about him. And um, he probably should have went to Africa or somewhere like that and got a wife that was submissive and you know knew how to be in the background instead of trying to chase the limelight like Drea but maybe she showed him a different side before they got married because women do that women will show a different side and then once they marry a guy they'll turn into a demon just like men 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 do it too men can be sweet and prince charming and then once you get with him and stay with him long enough the the bad side comes out so maybe he didn't know who she really was i hate the feds fuck the feds fuck the feds fuck the feds i wonder when judge donnelly is gonna rule on 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 these new witnesses that these stinking feds want to bring in that bastard Richard Arline Jr. is a son of a bitch who is willing to say that he was molested and he had sexual contact with R. Kelly after he became an adult. He's willing to say that in order to get a reduced sentence. No real man would do that. And I don't know how his wife sticks beside him. You know, because I would look at a man different after that. Hell, no. Nah. You, you finna go out here and say what? That you were having sex with a man just to embarrass me and your kids? Hell, no. Nah. Nigga. But it's a new generation. Some of these men don't have morals. Richard Arline, you know, I was going through his Facebook and I saw how he had a lot of pictures a lot of pictures where he looked like R. Kelly, you know, try to have, you know, the beard like R. Kelly, try to have the cigar in his mouth like R. Kelly. But of course, he's not as sexy as R. Kelly, so he couldn't pull off the look. But um, 
it was just comical. He looks like a fucking stalker, you know. And he had all these posts up talking about, oh, free R. Kelly. Oh, I miss my bro, R. Kelly. And now you want to come out here and say that you were John Doe, a John Ho? Hell no. These motherfuckers. R. Kelly is too nice to people. Because, you know, all these people saying they were in fear. Nah, you weren't in fear. Because if you were, you were in fear of your life, you wouldn't do this shit to this man. Because you'd be scared you was going to get killed. R. Kelly has been too nice to people. But I think that's going to change once he gets out of this shit. Because he's not going to be behind bars for the rest of his life. I have a feeling that this is not going to go the way all these people who hate R. Kelly want it to go. It's not going to go that way. I, I've been saying from day one he deserves to be acquitted and I stand by that. I stand by him. I'm sticking by him. There's nothing that they could come out and say about R. Kelly that's going to make me change my mind about him. I genuinely love him. I'm rocking with him. And I know Angelo said on his YouTube channel the other day that R. Kelly, it's going to be some animal accusations coming out like R. Kelly had sex with an animal. So Angelo said that. He let that slip out of his mouth. That's probably some lie he told Azriel to say. This is just ridiculous, man. The way they're lying on this man, it's, it, he didn't do all of this shit. And the accusations are so over the top that you knew he didn't do it. Where did he find time to do all this shit when he was in the studio making hits? They say, the man live in the studio. And if you're not in the studio, you're playing basketball at the cigar lounge. Where did he find time to kidnap and, you know, chase behind these nasty hoes? Well, he never chased them. They chased him. But according to them... He was the predator. Where did he find time to do this shit at? He didn't. He's not an enterprise. He's not an enterprise. One man ain't no enterprise. The government needs to stop telling lies. Uh, I hate these people. Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly. Fuck Richard Arline Jr., you ain't nothing but a sorry ass nigga. You a John Ho ass nigga. And uh, I really hope you get stabbed. And that's how I fucking feel about it. I don't like any of these accusers. And they will get exactly whatever they deserve. Whatever's coming to them. It will happen. Because God don't like ugly. But anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly. And fuck anybody who don't like him.